Hi, Moral Recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain an Indian biographical film called Shakuntala Devi. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins in the year 1934. In Bangalore, India, a five-year-old girl named Shakuntala Devi is known to be very gifted. Her brother is solving a math problem while she's playing around. While playing, she solves the problem that her brother is doing. He doesn't take her seriously at first, but he informs their father about it upon finding out that it's correct. Her father is astounded by seeing her talent being able to do complex calculations at such a young age. Shakuntala's father takes her to school to do a math show, and in return, she is supposed to earn money. Shakuntala wants to go to school too, but her father thinks she doesn't have to attend as she is a genius. Her father starts booking many shows, where Shakuntala uses her math skills and earns money. One day, after returning from the show, Shakuntala finds her sister dead. She asked her mother why they didn't take her to the hospital for treatment. She also asked if she could have requested money from her father, but her mother doesn't speak. Shakuntala becomes upset and promises herself that she will not become like her mother. Twenty years later, in 1954, Shakuntala is now an adult and still does mathematics shows. In the show, people make fun of her, but she makes them appreciate her with her amazing skills. Sometime later, Shakuntala arrives in England. Shakuntala goes to various places with her show offer, but no one agrees upon it. After visiting many places, she reaches the Royal Mathematician Society. She displays her talent over there in front of many mathematicians, which leaves them with surprise. Outside the center, a man named Javier stops her. Javier asks about Shakuntala's skills. He asked if she learned any tricks in the university to solve all the mathematical problems so easily. She replies she's never been to school. Javier finds this fascinating and asks out Shakuntala for a cup of coffee. Javier tells her he comes from Spain. He promises Shakuntala to find her a show, but says she needs a western makeover. Shakuntala refuses to leave her culture and wants to perform it that way. Eventually. She agrees to keep her culture intact. She goes through a makeover. Shakuntala and Javier become good friends. Javier takes her to his home and teaches her English to make her presentable. Javier and Shakuntala start working together. In the next scene, Shakuntala receives a letter from her mother. Her mother wants Shakuntala to send money. She gets upset and angry because her mother only asks for money and not her well-being. She replies the letter saying she will send the money every month and never to write her a letter again. When the time comes, Shakuntala is to present her skills in the show to be seen worldwide. She will be competing against the fastest computer in London. The show goes quite well as she answers all the questions nonchalantly until she tells that one question is wrong. The host says the computer cannot be faulty and insults her. She becomes upset with this. The following day, every newspaper talks about Shakuntala. They find out Shakuntala is right about the wrong question. The computer made a rounding error. Javier says everyone calls her the human computer, indeed. Shakuntala gets to know the world and does her shows everywhere. She then buys a house for herself. She's delighted until Javier tells her that he's returning to Spain. The news causes Shakuntala to be very depressed, as Javier, the only one she feels comfortable with, is leaving. In 1968, Bombay, where Shakuntala meets Peritosh at a party, they get bored and go to a club where they dance. Taking some time, they grow close together and she decides to marry him. Before marriage, Peritosh wants to meet Shakuntala's parents and take their blessings. Knowing Shakuntala hates her mother, he decides not to meet them and get married. In 1970, Shakuntala has her first daughter, Anupama, born in Calcutta. She feels that she has lost her true self and decides to embrace her mathematical might. So, Shakuntala decides to do her mathematical shows again. She goes to various countries to do her shows 
and restore her fame. She even breaks records set by her. Even scientists and researchers worldwide run multiple tests on Shakuntala but are curious about how she does that. One night in a conversation with her husband, he tells Shakuntala how their daughter Anupama said her first word, Daddy. Shakuntala realizes she is missing many family moments. Returning to Calcutta, Shakuntala convinces her husband and daughter to follow her everywhere, to which he refuses. They have a huge argument and the next day, Shakuntala leaves with her daughter. Then the scene shifts to 1978 in London. Anupama has grown up and writes a letter to her father. She misses her father as her mother is too busy with her hectic schedule. Along with being a mathematician, she is also an astrological consultant and is even more engaged. Shakuntala takes her daughter to every show. She thinks she's given her child a comfortable life. Shakuntala is unaware that even her daughter's childhood is snatched away, just like her. Anupama writes letters to her father, but she doesn't get any replies. She thinks her father is busy, but she doesn't know her mother keeps all the letters and doesn't want their interaction. Shakuntala takes her daughter with her to a press conference of her new book, The Life of a Homosexual. For the sake of publicity, she says her ex-husband is a homosexual. Anupama cannot tolerate this lie and leaves the conference. Shakuntala follows her and tells her, for the publicity, you must lie a bit. Anupama can't withstand this lie and shouts at her mother. She says she hates her and wants to live with her father. Shakuntala calms her down and tells her to go home. As Shakuntala has been doing shows worldwide and they've been staying in a hotel room more often than their home, they feel they don't have a true home. Anupama hates this the most because she wants to live as ordinary people live. After a long time, Shakuntala meets her husband in Bombay. He asks about their daughter, but Shakuntala doesn't want him to know. He tells her to admit their daughter to a school, but she thinks school kills a child's creativity. Shakuntala assumes Anupama is learning much more with her as she meets many intellectual people. After convincing a lot, Shakuntala agrees to put Anupama in a boarding school. In 1987, Shakuntala buys a house for herself and her daughter in London. She says that she's on a break from her math shows. She wants to become a full-time mother to her daughter. She even permits her daughter to talk with her father. Anupama gets excited and for the first time in a while, she's happy with her mother. They spend some quality time together. Later, Anupama lets her mother buy an old house. She says she wants to buy old properties, refurbish them, and then rent them out. Shakuntala becomes happy after listening to her daughter's idea. In 1997, Anupama meets Ajay for the first time. Eventually, they start liking each other and decide to tell both their parents about their decision to marry. Both sides of the family support and organize their wedding. Shakuntala takes her son-in-law shopping she says that he and Anupama must live with her in London after their marriage. Ajay objects to her decision and says they will live together in Bangalore. Shakuntala doesn't want Anupama to live away from her and tells Anupama to cancel the wedding. Anupama denies her decision as she loves Ajay. Now, Anupama leaves her mother's house. Anupama stays with her father and gets married in her father's home without informing Shakuntala. In 1999, where Anupama's father comes to Bombay to meet Anupama, she's upset with her father as he let her mother take her away. At a time, Shakuntala talking with her daughter, Shakuntala says that her daughter has lost her identity. She wants Anupama to divorce her husband, Ajay, and return home with her. Anupama gets angry and leaves. In the next scene, Anupama and Ajay go to see a doctor finding out about her pregnancy. She's in shock as she never wants to be a mother, but she later accepts this fact and they both become happy. In 2001, Shakuntala is doing a talk show in Mumbai. The host asks Shakuntala some questions, but her mind is distracted because of family issues and gives a wrong answer. She remembers her past and then leaves the show. 
After leaving the show, she goes to her old Bangalore home and opens a trunk. She finds some of her articles and old belongings. She remembers her past and cries. Later, some of Anupama's friends ask Anupama about her newly born daughter at a party. Anupama says her daughter is with her nanny. Then her friends tell Anupama that she should spend more time with her daughter and not her business. She feels quite guilty and leaves the party for her daughter, to which her husband agrees. Sometime later, Ajay tells Anupama that her mother is selling her London property, which Anupama is pursuing for a long time, using legal path. Shakuntala has kept all the profit generated from that business, and now Anupama alone has to bear all the property tax. The tax on that property is so huge that she won't be able to pay it her entire life. Now they have two options, remain silent and pay all the taxes, or file a criminal case against her mother. In London, Anupama decides to file a criminal case against her mother, Shakuntala. She accuses her mother of legally trying to destroy her financial standing. Her lawyer explains that this could lead her mother to prison, but she stays with her decision. Eventually, both Shakuntala and her daughter comes to court. Shakuntala realizes her hate towards her mother is useless. Now she can see her daughter hates her the same way that Shakuntala hated her mother. She claims that she wants to call Anupama to tell her that she is selling Anupama's property. Turns out, Anupama understands the love of her mother and they unite together. Later, Shakuntala gets a Lifetime Achievement Award in Mathematics and gives a speech. She tells how she previously hates her mother and her daughter changes her to be a better human being. Subscribe to more videos like this, turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel. Thank you for watching.